just very grateful for this little this pool I have in my house. <laughs> it's one of those, they, they call them like cowboy pools. And uh, we put it in because we live in a house that's 100 years old and putting in an in-ground pool is very expensive, first of all, in Los Angeles. Second of all, you never know what you're gonna discover in a 100-year-old house, so. Um, it would be very complicated. Anyway, so we put in this cute little stock tank pool with a filter and everything, and it's been really nice. It's two feet, but it's like nine by nine, and I've just been enjoying it and sitting and relaxing, and um, it's been a really nice day uh, trying to just sort of chill. Um, and it's perfect for little kids. We have a four-year-old, so you know, she's actually a very good swimmer and uh, and it's been helpful because she can practice and you know, they don't have to worry about drowning. Um, so yeah, and I have my little cowboy hat here. And today I just put in these little hoofs around the middle. And so it's <laughs> um, so we've been, just a little update. Um, so now that I've been off tamoxifen for a year, I'm feeling much better. Um, my puffiness is going down and I did a bunch of blood work at the fertility clinic who did my, they did my, they did my embryo collection, or well, my egg collection uh, before cancer treatment. And then um, they've been storing them for six years now. And, um, so we're debating uh, whether I'm, I'm as healthy as a 30 year old surrogate, they said, which was nice to hear. So I can carry. Um, so now it's a matter of when to do it, if we want to do it, that kind of thing. So we've had, so I went there, Brian, my husband and I went there last week for blood work two weeks ago. And then I had to go for another blood test this past week. And then this week I have some type of uterus tests to see if there's anything, you know, it looks good, but then they test it to see about mass, you know, to see if there's like little things in there and if it's viable. Um, so hopefully it's viable. Um, and it's a little scary, but also it's kind of exciting and it's a little like, you know, I, when I first was diagnosed, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it here, you know, it's, it's like, Am I going to survive? Am I going to live? Am I going to be healthy enough? What, what am I going to be like? Is my body going to be okay? My body is totally different, um, but it's healthy and uh, strong. So I'm, I'll be an older mom. That's fine. I mean, I already am a mom, but I'll be an older uh, pregnant mom, you know, carrier or whatever. So we'll see. I mean, it's all like a lot of up in the air ifs and stuff because who knows if... There's like a 90% chance they'll unfreeze okay. There's one that they'll start with. And then, um, I don't know if I wanna, you know, we have three. <laughs> I don't know if I, and they're good quality, he said. We found that out in our meeting. I mean, we already knew, but it's kinda nice to hear it again. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if, you know, it's, it's complicated for us just because of the, history of cancer so it's a little and it's breast cancer which is related to hormones but um the study that i that my treatment was based off of has not had any recurrences um all the people that are young that my oncologist has had and had children um after treatment have not had recurrences they haven't had any more you know a new type or anything develop They're, when I say new type, I mean there are 15 types of breast cancer. Just a reminder, I don't know if people really understand that. So, you know, just because I had triple positive doesn't mean I couldn't get triple negative or ERPR, which is estrogen and progesterone, but not triple positive. So there's like all these different types. There's skin, there's so many types. So that's another thing when you're getting information about your treatment, like know what type you have, know what treatment you're going for. Um, anyway, so all that to say, no one has had that happen after having a child. So that's good news. Um, I think, I don't know, I guess I'll just keep updating as far as this sort of journey goes, but I'm healthy, I'm cancer-free, I'm healthy enough to carry uh, a baby. So that's good news, but it's also a little scary and 
that's a whole other thing. Like, oh my gosh, you know, you, let's say the embryo takes and then you carry and then it's like, oh my gosh, now you've got to, you know, push it out. <laughs> I'd prefer a natural. I don't want to have to have an operation or anything, but you know, you just don't know. There's so many issues with that too. So anyway, we're starting that. If we do it, maybe August, but I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to end up being like September. Um, just because of timing and everything. Uh, so yeah, it's exciting. It's also inti a little intimidating, but also like if I can go through six years of cancer treatment, I can, I can do this part too. Part of me is a little like, I, should I just let my body rest and just relax and heal after all that? Oh, here comes my, my four-year-old now. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Have good days.